Nobody is going to tell you, but this is one of the most important point that you need to know. Mistakes to avoid. Ignoring general aptitude. I have known many, many aspirants who ignore general aptitude completely. Even I have seen people who scored rank 1, even rank 1 to rank 1 to 10. And they rank 1 to 10 even without touching general aptitude. Right? But don't do that. Although they did it because they scored 100 out of 100 in part C and also 40, 45, 50, 60 out of 17 part B. But don't risk it, right? Don't ignore general aptitude. Over relying on low weight units. Now, if you devote all your time preparing for those units which are not repetitive, then that's a waste of time. Don't do that. Next is skipping PYQs. If you have not checked the previous year's questions, then there is no point of even attending CSNET examination. Because until or unless you check the previous year's question papers, you are not ready to understand the type of questions that they ask. And you will never be ready because those are the type of questions you needed to answer in the examination. Attempting too many risky part C questions. When you attempt part C questions, you just can't attempt blindfoldedly any question that comes. People answer, like people tend to answer, many of the students, many aspirants tend to answer questions which are presented early, right? So there are 75 part C questions. You need to answer only 25 out of them. So basically, for every three question, you need to answer one part C question. So what you are going to do is that most of the students, they try to answer the questions which are provided earlier. So your question number one, two, three, four, they try to answer them. What they think is that, uh, let's say, because then I'm going to, I may be run out of time, but that's not the case. It might be possibility that five consecutive part C questions you are leaving because you don't understand. You, don't, you haven't prepared that topic. It's completely fine. You answered question number one. Then you miss question two, three, four, five, six, seven. You leave all them. You get at question number eight, which is on your zone. Then you attend it. The chance of scoring high is good. But if by question two to question seven, you don't know the correct answers, you're not confident, but if you attend those questions, you'll end up in getting negative marking. So don't do that. This is a big mistake. Remember, these are all practical experiences my students face. And based on that, I build this mind map. So don't do that. So these are the mistakes to avoid. And the final tip with which we are going to end this session.